Okay, we're going to have a quick look at adding columns to your project. Now, I'm going to go to the roof plan here, which was uh, level 2. Okay, so I might add a couple of columns to the edge of my um, roof here. So up here in columns, yeah, now you have, um, you have structural or archi architectural columns. Structural columns you can actually slant, which is good. So I'd probably stick to structural columns. Now, you can see at the moment uh, when I hover, this is what the preview looks like. It's sort of a H or an I column. Um, so if we drop that in, go to our 3D view and have a look. Okay, we can see it's actually placed it from the level that I was on up. So let's change that. We'll click on it and we're going to change the base level here to the ground floor and the top level to level two, which is the roof. So if once we apply that, you can now see that that column has been put in from the ground all the way to the top of the roof. So if I go back to my roof level and I can copy that, CO. So let's copy that down to the other end of the roof as well. So if I go back to 3D, you can, I can see now that I've got two columns there holding up the corners of that roof. Now if I wanted to change the type of column that this is, so just make it a square or a rectangle or a circular column. So I'll just click on the column. So you can either right click and say select all instances visible in view. And let's go edit type. And then what we're going to want to do is load a new column. So down here we'll see structural columns in the library. So concrete, steel, wood, you can choose what uh, material your column's made out of. So concrete, rectangular, round or square. So let's just load in a round column. And we can see once we click OK that that's going to change to a nice round column for us. It's a bit more architectural. So. Um, that's basically columns. It's really quite simple. You can you can add columns by um, uh, putting in a a, um, a grid and then aligning them to the grid intersections. But for university purposes, you're probably not going to want to do that. So just add them as you as you see um, fit into your project.